Welcome to Features in 5, our series of 5-minute lessons about enhancements to Penny, our investment partnership accounting software. In this lesson, we'll explore the Fund of Funds functionality in Penny. In the next 5 minutes, you'll see how to set up a Fund of Funds investment in Penny and enter some investment transactions. You'll also learn about the two methods through which Penny can manage Fund of Funds investments. And you'll learn about the Penny reports that display Fund of Funds related information. First, you access Setup Screens and Related Reports through a menu on the Fund tab. Using some of these screens, let's take a look at setting up a Fund of Funds investment and entering some transactions for the investment. Using the Fund Investment screen, you can now set up a non-private equity investment. You can also specify if it is share-based or not. And you can also assign the investment to investor groups. Now that you have the investment set up, you can enter transactions for that investment. One type of transaction is a purchase. Using the Fund Investment Purchases screen, you can enter information about the fund investment purchase. Another type of transaction is the basis adjustment. Using the Fund Investment Basis Adjustment screen, you can modify the cost basis of the investment. When you sell the investment, you enter on the Fund Investment Sale screen the price and other information about the sale. For an investment into a private equity fund, you have a distribution instead of a sale. Penny has a separate screen for that transaction, the Fund Investment Distribution screen. Here, you can enter the components of the P&L for the distribution. At the end of the period, you can value the investments on hand. You specify a price per share for the investment, and Penny calculates the total market value. If your environment is set to post the valuation, then the system calculates the unrealized gains and posts them into the ledger. And that leads us into our next topic. Let's look at setting up Penny to manage Fund of Funds investments. Penny can manage these investments through one of two methods, posting or non-posting. With the posting method, fund investment transactions are entered into Penny, and Penny calculates unrealized gains based on the investment valuations. The investment transactions are processed through the general ledger and Penny allocates the income to investors. For investments into private equity funds, Penny provides commitment, call, and distribution transactions. For non-private equity investments, Penny provides purchase, basis adjustment, and sale transactions. With the non-posting method, the cost and market values of fund investments are imported into Penny, and that information is used for reporting purposes only. The activity is not processed through the general ledger, and investor income is not affected. This method is typically used for clients that have a separate portfolio system for fund investments, and they just want to bring into Penny limited information for fund reporting. So. Penny is set to use the posting or non-posting method through the Environment Settings screen. In the section Fund of Funds, there's an option Post Valuation. There's also an option Lot Relieval. For share-based Fund of Funds investments, Penny tracks the investment lots and how they are relieved on sales. This option sets how Penny processes these lots. So. Those are the two methods Penny can use to manage Fund of Funds transactions. Last, let's take a look at the Penny reports that reflect the processing of Fund of Funds investments. The Investment Lot Relief Report shows the lots relieved when there is a sale of a share-based fund investment. The Fund Investment Activity Report displays all the transactions associated with fund investments. This includes calls, distributions, purchases, sales, and basis adjustments. And the Fund Investment Valuation Report has a variation to display the price, value, cost, 
and general ledger balances that support values set to post. So, that's our look at Fund of Funds Investments in Penny. You now know how to set up a Fund of Funds investment and enter investment transactions. You also know the two methods by which Penny can manage Fund of Funds investments. And you're familiar with the Penny reports that display Fund of Funds related information. That wraps up our video. If you'd like more information, please contact your Client Relationship Manager. You can also visit the Penny Help file at any time by pressing F1 on your keyboard or selecting Help from the window menu. Until next time, thanks for watching our Features in 5.